Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, and if you're not, welcome back. Okay, today's video, we have a highly requested one, uh, especially with school coming up, is 50 modest crochet ideas. Now, what I believe is modesty can be different than what you believe is modesty. So throughout this entire video, I, there's kind of like a range of modesty. There's a range of showing your shoulders to not wanting to show your shoulders to it's overall like there's no crop tops. So if you're looking for crochet ideas that aren't crop tops and things things like that. This is a video for you. There are some that will cover the knees, some that don't cover the knees. Um, almost all of these cover midriff and there are ones that are, I don't think any of these are spaghetti strap. They're all like two inches or sleeved, um, short sleeved or long sleeved. So you have a lot of options throughout this whole video depending on what part of modesty that you fall under, okay? <laughs> so with that being said, okay, there's lightning going on. We are currently going through a hurricane okay hurricane hillary so with that being said for this video we have three categories we have tops bottoms and dresses so this entire thing is modesty clothing those are the only categories we're going to be going over in this video and like always everything i say will be listed in the description box below in the order that i said it linked to a paid or free written or video tutorial for you to make whatever I'm showing you. So let's go ahead and jump right into it, shall we? Before we get started, if you made it this far, hit the subscribe button, okay? Join our little crochet community. Feel free to request any type of crochet idea video that you have for me that I haven't done yet in the comments down below. All right, let's get started. So for this one, we have three categories, tops, bottoms, and dresses. I'm gonna have them chaptered out below if you wanna skip around, but let's go ahead and jump right into the tops category. Okay, so for the tops category, this specifically isn't a top, but more so a piece that you can add to an outfit to make it more modest. It's, called, it's like a triangle modesty panel that kind of goes right here to cover any cleavage that you might have in a outfit. You can sew it onto um, a bra or attach it onto the straps of a bra, whatever, but that's just kind of like a little thing to make an outfit a little more modest, not necessarily a full top, but it does go in the top half, so it's in this category. The next thing we have to kind of make an outfit a little more modest, if you're wearing a top that's kind of showing a little too much shoulder or a little too much collarbone than what you're comfortable with, we have this arm warmer, which can kind of just be an added layer to a top that has sleeveless or is uh, you know, spaghetti straps, something like that. So we've got that to kind of just add a little bit of extra modesty to your outfit. Or we have this Lara top, um, which can also be kind of like an additive to a dress that's just not modest enough for you. Or we have this collared vest, which is very, um, I think it's really cute and it's very like, it's a vest you can wear with or without something underneath it. And then, of course, you can add a patchwork cardigan to literally anything to make it a little more modest, but let's steer away from adding things to make things modest and kind of get into tops that are already modest, okay? Um, so there's this bay swatter top, which is a modest top, okay? I don't, I'm trying to not say modest over and over again. Um, I'll try because all my other videos, you guys are like, count how many times she says cute, count how many times she says this. So I'm trying to broaden my vocabulary, okay? And this this is a test for me. So I think that this top is really adorable. <laughs> um, then there's this Ziggy flare top, which has these bell sleeves. But if you notice, the top is like a uh, square cut right here. So it doesn't dip down like a majority of these tops do. Or you can make a ribbed turtleneck if you really want full coverage. Or there's these two tops that are really cute over something like a button up or a long sleeve. So if you want to add something crocheted into your outfit, but not necessarily an entire full top, then I definitely recommend this brown kind of lacy over the dress shirt kind of thing or this green top over a dress shirt. Super cute. Layering, but with the crochet being like the second layer and being not as much crochet so you don't get too warm um, is really cute, especially when you're going for modesty. For the next category of bottoms, we have this maxi skirt, um, which obviously adorable. And I'm actually gonna, I think I'm gonna make this one because I think it's really cute. I've been into really long skirts lately for some reason. Um, so then there's also 
you can also do granny square skirts. So there's this 70s maxi skirt made out of granny squares or even this kind of like mid-length black granny square skirt or you can go shorter with something like this. Really whatever you're comfortable with when it comes to how modest you want to be. Um, here's another like white long maxi skirt crocheted obviously and this one has a slit going up the side to the knee you can do that with or without the slit and then there's this reese crochet skirt it's like a wrap skirt and again you can make this however long you want it i just thought the wrap was really cool and it kind of adds like dimension to the skirt instead of just being a like flat skirt if that makes sense um you can also make this mermaid skirt okay super cute super dynamic or if you're someone who likes overalls but kind of like also love skirts there's this skirt there's this skirt pattern oh my goodness there's this skirt pattern with um like suspender like straps to kind of keep it from going anywhere also it makes like a cute little additive to your outfit um which i think is cute and you can make again you can make the skirt however long you want it that's what's really cool about these skirt patterns is you kind of just add however many rows you want or you can make granny square pants, which are super cute and full coverage. Or you can make these checkered shorts, which, um, again, you can make them longer or shorter, whatever. But I did notice that this base pattern is very, like, normal. It's, like, mid-thigh length for shorts. Or you can even make granny square shorts. And then I have another type of long granny square skirt for you but this one the squares are kind of in like a diagonal shape instead of a like 90 degree square shape so I thought that was kind of cool a little different than the average granny square skirt and then there's this Rosalina skirt which it just kind of has more fine detail with thinner yarn than the other ones okay and then for our last category we have dresses okay I love this category Finding modest dresses was kind of hard in the crochet world. Not as hard as finding modest tops. That was pretty hard too because everything's cropped. So in the dress category, we have this nostalgia wrap around dress, which I thought was super cute. Okay. And I understand that there is kind of like a deep V going on with this type of dress. And if you're not comfy and cozy with that, then you can put on like a white tank top or, you know, like a little cami underneath it just to kind of cover that part. Um, and then there's this woman's tunic sweater, which I thought was cute, or this pinky type dress, again, with like short sleeves, cute. Out of all of them, I think my favorite has to be this long sleeve i have two pictures i'm pretty sure they're the same dress but this long sleeve dress like i love this oh my gosh it's giving modesty but also like adorable it's freaking gorgeous so i actually think i'm gonna make this one but here's a black and white one and then i found another picture which i think they're this they look like the same pattern okay this one's a little different but this one's a little more colorful she has a little headband to match but this one it, it, I think it's a little different if you're looking at the neckline. The other one's a little more showy. But moving on, we have this white dress with kind of like puffy looking sleeves, which is super cute. Or if you really want modesty, go vintage. Okay, I've got some vintage options for you here. We've got this colorful vintage one with kind of like a chevron looking pattern going on. And then we have this made by TikTok Knits, this peachy color dress with like a drawstring in the middle. And then there's this jade dress, which adorable. I don't think this one's vintage, but again, still super cute. I love the sleeves, very flowy. And then here's this white vintage one with an added like belt on it. It's so freaking cute. Okay. I love vintage patterns and modesty is vintage. Okay. Um, so when modesty was more popular, uh, it was back then. So definitely look into some vintage patterns. Um, and then there's this long sleeve dress in the color pink and there's this golden um kind of colored dress and then we have another vintage crochet dress gorgeous and then we've got this shop daisy and dime wrap kind of dress in like this burgundy color and i understand again it's kind of like a v-neck cut but if you want you can put a tank top underneath it to kind of get rid of that but it's long sleeve it's not cropped you can make it longer if you're uncomfortable with the shortness of it um and then here's this 
other vintage I just realized for this entire thing, I've been in the middle of the screen, which means I'm gonna have to show it like right there, which is just great, just great. I'm gonna move over a little so you can kind of get more of a good view on this side. <laughs> okay, we've got this vintage one, this vintage dress that has kind of like um, vertical lines going up and down it, which I think is cute, or this Audrey crochet dress, which is again, a cute one or this puff sleeve dress if you're into puff sleeves if that's your thing or even um another wrap dress kind of looks similar to the other one okay th i think those might be the same dress <laughs> um and then there's this chevron lace dress paired with a cute hat like she has on is adorable and then another this green vintage dress adorable okay vintage is where it's at and then we have this ne the never cold mini dress which is super cute and you can even add length if you're uncomfortable with it being mini and then there's this houndstooth dress which it looks like that same pattern that most of these crocheted vests are made out of but someone made it a dress and like she has in the picture you can wear like a cute turtleneck underneath it and then be a cute little outfit it's modest you've got crochet on super cute or even this Juliet style crochet dress, which is a vintage pattern, I'm pretty sure. And then there's this 1973 vintage crochet dress. And I think this one's a skirt and top combo, which is super cute. And then there's this dress, which kind of gives puff sleeve. It gives fairy princess. Okay, super cute. And then if you're kind of looking more for like a sweater dress, here's this dark gray sweater dress look for you or even this golden hour sundress, okay? And that is all I have for you for modesty, okay? Modesty in crochet. Hopefully, I was able to kind of hit all of the nooks and crannies of like what you guys are wanting when it comes to modesty. No one was super clear, but there were just a lot of comments about wanting tops that weren't cropped or wanting tops that had sleeves or wanting tops that weren't, you know, bandos and things like that so I wanted to in dresses that weren't super short or you know see-through and things like that so I tried to do my best and I know some of you guys wanted to make clothes for your grandkids or your kids for school and things like that so hopefully I was able to help you out there I'm pretty sure a lot of these would be in dress code when it comes to school I don't know I haven't been to school in quite a bit so but other than that every just a reminder everything i said is on a cohesive pinterest board link down below so all these pictures that you saw are on a pinterest board if you want to go look at that check that out um but if not if you're looking for the if you're looking for a pattern or tutorial i listed everything i said in the description box below in the order that i said it linked to a paid or free written or video tutorial so you can make whatever i showed you okay and if you do and you want to share it with me um, follow me on Instagram, okay? Tag me in whatever you make, and I will gladly share it to my Instagram stories. Other than that, if you liked this video, like the video, okay, and subscribe to my channel. We are a small little crochet community in the corner of the internet, and we like to share inspiration and tips and tutorials and things like that, so if that's something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button, but other than that, thanks for watching, guys. I love you. Bye!